there is one more array tool that I want to talk about, and that's the copy array. It's not a real array command, but it kind of is. It's also kind of hidden, but it is there. The copy array tool is in the copy command. It allows you to create a linear non-associative array. That just means that you can copy your object many times in a straight line. And it won't be an array, but it will be several instances of that same object. So let's look at this last plant here. Start the copy command, press enter, select the object, enter again, pick your base point. We'll just pick the center of the pot. And now you can see here on the command line that there is an option called array. So you can click it here on the command line or type in the letter A. And now you need to enter in the number of items for the array. So let's say five. As you move your mouse around, that line is created and the distance between each item is up to you. You just stretch it out, put it where it needs to go. Now you have another mode called fit mode. Just type in the letter F and press enter. And now you can go a total distance with everything else automatically spaced in between instead of working on just the spacing. So if I turn on my O snap by pressing F8, I can go in a straight line and put in another row of plants. Turning on F8, I can keep going. I'm back in the regular copy command, so if I want to array again, I have to type in the letter A. Type in the number that I want to array, and keep going. So that's another array. It's not a real array, but it's a way to get a lot of things in a straight line in one shot with a copy command. So it's a little trick that's kind of hidden that you might be able to use. Sometimes it might be easier to do that than the array command, you know, like rectangular or polar.